Happy Saturday morning. Another great guitar build off walk, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this one first today because there's not a whole lot of interesting stuff for the guitars, just work that I had to get done. Uh, so the big reason I'm going to put this first is because I forgot to say again that this whole great guitar build off thing is a, a charity event. So any money that gets raised uh, from the guitars, from uh, uh, people buying these tickets, I'm about to talk about all that goes straight to charity. And I am doing this for a charity called Hungry for Music, which provides instruments to teachers and kids in underserved districts. And as a public high school teacher who has worked in underserved school districts, I can tell you that that makes a huge difference. So if you are not a great guitar build off builder and you happen to stumble upon this, uh, this video and you have any interest in what I'm doing, whether it's from building guitars or just watch me mess up and you have a couple of extra dollars in your pocket, please, 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 please support the charity. I promise you it makes a difference to kids. Uh, so yeah, there was not a lot of really cool guitar stuff that happened this week. I had to deal with that template and I started uh, on the neck blanks because I finally convinced myself I knew which thickness they should be. That's about all that happened. Not very exciting. Uh, when you watch the videos, you can see there's a couple instances where I definitely didn't do things right the first time. And I am going to go ahead and stick to my guns and post my mistakes or post me making my mistakes. That way, uh, maybe somebody else can learn from them one day because... Uh, as I said a long time ago, way back in the first video, if you're not messing stuff up, you're probably not learning anything. So uh, if my screw-ups can be instructive, awesome. So otherwise, I don't really have a lot more to say. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back in the shop uh, early this week because I have a big, a big agenda for next week now that I'm done with school. Um, and I can get in there and spend even whole parts of a day at the wood shop, so that'd be crazy. At any rate, um, should you find yourself watching this far into this video and not cutting me off, uh, thank you very much and uh, be safe out there in the world. And I will update uh, my guitar videos next week. Take care. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It has been another week. I actually haven't had the opportunity to do any guitaring since uh, my last set of videos because it's been the last week of the school year. Uh, so it's been pretty busy. We've got a bunch of seniors graduated and out the door today. Uh, so that's a big deal. Pretty cool thing. Um, now we're to the end of the school year. So uh, this will probably be kind of a big focus for the summer. Uh, be the thing that keeps me busy and mostly out of trouble. Uh, so this week, at least today, um, I don't have a lot of super exciting guitar things that I'm going to do. It's going to be mostly guitar scut work. Uh, I did get some cool things in the mail, though, this week. I've got Protractor and Fret Marking Ruler from Crimson, so that's cool. That was my opportunity to support those guys, and I yeah. got my yeah. truss rods in from them as well and some guitar building oil, which is at home, so glad to have that stuff. One of the things that is on my to-do list for today um, is to go ahead and now expand this truss rod channel since that is a thing I can now appropriately measure. Uh, I'm going to change the shape of the headstock here a little bit to reflect something that's not particularly unique and exciting, but is at least mine. So I'm going to do that uh, today. I'm going to get this thing ready. That way when I get in next week, I will be able to start uh, on the next proper and
right, so here is the results of a couple of hours worth of guitaring. Uh, not near so exciting as I would normally like it to be, uh, at least for me anyway, but definitely necessary things. So uh, I have uh, extended the truss rod channel in uh, my neck template. Um, if you were watching closely, that was obviously... Uh, it didn't go exactly how I wanted it to, and it's far from perfect. Um, but I think it's going to be good enough for me to do the job that I need to do with it on this guitar, or these guitars, and, you know, in the future, uh, I can revisit. I have uh, cut out and uh, shaped a uh, headstock. Um, I came up with this out of my own head, but I'm a little bit worried that it was derived in my own head, maybe from something else. Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's only so many different shapes you can come up with for a headstock, but that is mine, and maybe it'll change in the future. I don't know, but for these guitars, it's going to be what it's going to be. And then the other thing I did is I took one of the pieces that I had cut out for the necks, and I split it in half and planed it down because um, I've really been losing a lot of sleep over measurements. And uh, everything I've read on the Internet, all of my measurements of my existing guitar necks, because I figured that, you know, measuring actual existing things was better than reading stuff on the Internet, says that the neck uh, without the, the fretboard on it you know, can be about th can be three-quarters of an inch thick um, on a fender-profiled neck, and that's what this is going to be. So... Uh, what I've done is I took and I split those and uh, um, thicknessed them down to just a hair more than three quarters of an inch in case I need to plane a little bow or something off of it after they take some time to equilibrate. So uh, this is these two things. I'm just going to let them sit over the weekend. It's probably going to be three or four days uh, before I'm back in here now that school is out. Um, so not an exciting uh, afternoon's worth of working on guitars, but some things that I feel like uh, really needed to be done so I can take the next big steps forward. So until then, uh, you guys be safe out there and make some sawdust and have fun. And as always, thank you for the kind words. Take care.